Well, the biggest thing I ever did was Times Square, literally, in many ways. Uh, it measures five feet high by 25 feet wide. And uh, the idea of Times Square is something I always wanted to paint since I was a little boy. Uh, because it was always so amazing to go there. All the lights and all the things, it was always like that. Um, and I always wanted to paint Times Square, but I could never feel it. I would start different things, sketch this, sketch, and it never felt like Times Square. And then when these 64-inch printers came out, that's when I realized that this was the way to do Times Square. It had to be big. So I did something that would take advantage of the full height and then as long as a roll, which ended up being 25 feet. Now, you can't paint Times Square without people. Even at 5 o'clock on a Sunday morning, there are people on Times Square. So I figured I'm going to do people. So it's the first time I actually did realistic looking people in, in uh, digitally. And uh, here I had to put all these people. Now I could just take strangers and have all model releases and all kinds of stuff or make up people. How am I going to make up this many people and make them look different? So I decided I'm going to take all my friends and co-workers and family and put them in the painting. So I went in and I started uh, taking pictures of different people like John and Tom who wrote Photoshop originally, uh, took pictures of them and, and put them in position. And then I, I painted them and put them somewhere in the streets. They're all doing something, pointing at something, looking at something, thinking, talking to somebody else. They're all doing something as people would be in Times Square. So they became all friends and family. Everybody in there is somebody I know.